We are here at Copa Virginia at the quarterfinals of the men's cash prize division, the advanced adult absolute. We have Chad Drummond and Gill here. We have Gill in the blue stripe rash guard, and we have Chad in the dragon rash guard. And this is uh, the male advanced uh, bracket for uh, money. I believe it's five hundred dollars. Think win so, when yeah. They win. Cash prize. Yeah, it's the cash prize absolute market. Gill immediately with the takedown, immediately going to the mount. Gets four points for the mount, two points for the pat for the takedown. There, looks like he's looking for a head and arm. Very, very heavy pressure here on Chad. Crushing down, going feet on the hips. Yeah, and Gil is slowly moving up. Um, but he is doing a good job hand fighting and trying to get the hand away from the face that, so that he can go for like a scarf hold maybe to take the back. Yeah, I think he's looking for that back take. Potentially going to take the arm from this tech mount, but I think he's looking for the gift wrap for that back take. Going to probably... Oh, Chad does a great job getting back to guard just momentarily, and Gil's able to actually get around. Gil is uh, then trying to get that arm, trying to work that hand in. Nice heavy pressure, and Chad's putting, uh, doing a good job keeping his hand in front of the shoulder there. Gil's, you know, going for the scarf hold, kind of leaning back and forth, trying to get that under that elbow of the same side. He was trying to utilize both his knee, his legs, and his hands in order to try to do that. Yeah, using um, most of his body there to try to get around. Really nice, heavy knee ride here. Gil's doing a great job of kind of rolling on top of Chad's regard attempts and kind of attempts to get out, using great pressure through his knees and really, really good balance. You know, for these absolute divisions, a lot of times the heavier guys, you don't see them, they're not able to float on the smaller guys that well, and so it's really nice to see a guy like Il uh, Gil in this division able to do that. And Chad is using his uh, frames and trying to stay framed out against him. Um, and trying to get escape his hips out. Beautiful kind of. Gil tried to step over to mount, realized that Chad's leg was in the way, and then immediately cut back over to the half guard. Gil playing very, very dynamic from these dominant positions. You know, trying to open something up. It's not working. He moves to the next position. Potentially going to see him go for either the back or the mount here with that front side leg kind of stapling both of Chad's legs. Uh, he does have an option for both. Miranda, where do you think he's going to go here? I think he's going to the back, but he passes again. He gets that arm on the far side and it looks like he's trying to utilize maybe a knee to try to separate that out um, because Chad is doing a great job at keeping his hands around his head and not getting choked. Um, he keeps on trying to get under him and get his hips back out so he can reestablish a guard. While Gill is doing a good job trying to control the elbows and trying to make space uh, so he can get something from that position. Yeah, it looks like Gill talked to his corner there for a second. Potentially going to look for uh, the Kimura there. I'm curious if, they're, if he's seeing or feeling something there um, with how Chad is fighting the elbow down or something that you know might be available to him there later in the match if he can create an opportunity like that again. There is 3.30 left in the match, and there's some talk with the referees on the side. Chad reestablished on the guard here. Gil trying to pass it. Looks like right over to mount through the guard here. If he does, he's going to be able to get another seven points for that series. But Chad's leg is very, very high. Potentially Gil looking for that three-quarter mounted guillotine. Immediately passes again. Gets the three points for the guard pass. Back into that kind of modified north-south position we've seen Gil use so far in the match. And he is holding uh, both the leg and the head, keeping control at that point he goes to mount and now he is just trying to separate the hands again from the, the side mount position um, and he does get that arm. He's kind of going for that chicken wing grip. He's pulling off. It looks like he has a ring on. Silicon ring that he's elected to throw off and his corners picked up. Going gift wrap here. Chad is doing a good job of getting his back flat to the mat though. You know it's going to be really hard to take the back with that gift wrap. Uh, if Chad's able to get the back of the flat. But Gil does a good job there of uh, following, but 
Chad can roll through, establishes the half guard again. Gil gets the advantage for the near back take. Um, and then is going to have to get his foot again through Chad's half guard. And Chad, I... Yeah, Chad's not really able to hold on to the guard there. Gil can get past again. Uh, Chad is postured up enough, but it still does not matter, and Gil is able to get another three points for the pass. He's now up 17-0 to zero with a minute and 45 seconds left. Gil electing to go for the legs, you know. It seems like he's not having the success that he wants in the upper body after scoring the points. He's going to belly down for an ankle lock, and he gets a cross cloverleaf ankle lock with a minute and 33 to take the first round of the quarterfinals of the Copa Virginia cash prize bracket here.